Okay, uh, this is Milo34, uh, and uh, I have to do a voiceover for my video, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, this is my second time rendering this with me, uh, and it's a compile of two videos. Um, anyways, what I'm going to be showing you how to do right here is uh, create a um, neon light or a light up object for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> ah. That is going to be really hard for me to see, so you're going to have to kind of follow along what's going on on the screen. So you're going to want to go uh, modify, and then you're going to select You're going to want to right click the object and you're wanna going to go and choose what kind of uh, picture you want on it. Uh, to map it properly, you uh, want to watch my old tutorials because I am on really tight schedule. Because right now it's uh, 4.12 in the morning. Anyways, um, I'm just going to scale this one up right here and make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing. a little bit better. Alright. Uh, now what you're going to go to is you're going to uh, all the way off to the left. There we go. Click that guy. And uh, the reason it appears green is because, uh, like if you see down here, uh, they applied a greenish texture. And they also have like a specular or some sort of light down there, which is uh, green. Uh, resignating as well. So now we're going to go back to uh, the green color they had. Just so you can see. Make sure it uh, makes sense too. So you're going to want to right click this guy again. Oh. Yeah, uh, you're going to also want to go under surface, lightness, make sure that it's uh, to 999%. It really doesn't matter, but that just makes it go quicker. So you're going to want to right click it, go down to vertices, uh, turn off normals, and turn on diffuse color, then go apply and OK. You're going to want to click the corners uh, you know, as fast as possible. Each, uh, each corner, not each corner, but uh, each vertice. And that will bring up the uh, brightness all the way around the object. Normally it won't look or happen that quickly. Uh, the reason it did for me is because the vertices, or uh, polygon points, or whatever they're called, is, uh, or are lined up directly over top of each other. And you can see over there in the right-hand view panel. And this is where the video pretty much cuts out, so I'll stop recording real quick here. Okay, uh, yeah, after that, you want to right click it again, go back up, uh, turn on normals, and leave diffuse color on. By having normals and uh, diffuse color together, you get the lightness from diffuse and the normals that allow it to work in Grand Theft Auto 4. So, yeah, um, let's move on. Right here, uh, four seats, you know, four seater car. You want to turn this two seater car into a four seater car. What you do is uh, you're going to want to create a copy of ped front seat. You're going to want to rename it ped back seat. And you're going to want to select ped front seat uh, over here. Not ped front seat, sorry. You're going to want to select the copied ped front seat that you renamed ped back seat. You're going to want to then. Uh, go over and select by quadra and then go move make sure you're on that main window box up on the top left there yeah right there All right, so uh, yeah select it move it to wherever you want the door to open or not the door to open the uh, back seats to be and uh, 
then your next step is going to be copying the uh, ped, not the ped, the uh, doors, the door dummy. Sorry, so all the objects on the cars correspond to dummies, which is <laughs> kind of funny. And then you want to rename it RR and uh, LR instead of where it says FR and FL, which means right rear and left rear. And when you're done with that, you want to move it uh, back to where you want the uh, pedestrian or your character to go to open the passenger side door. And speaking of dummies, uh, there are um, a couple other ones I discovered uh, called wing. Left front wing, left uh, rear wing, right rear wing. Um, I'm going to show you collisioning here. Uh, you can see that mesh part on the top there. That's uh, only for people to walk around on. And everything else, all those balls, circle type spherical things, those are uh, what the vehicle corresponds to. It takes damage and so on. So uh, you can select one of these spheres and right click it and change it to, uh, in this case, uh, I think it would be. L, F, dummy, or left front dummy, uh, or you know, the opposite right for right front uh, dummy. And that pretty much wraps up the tutorial. As you can see, the video is finished, and I'm still talking. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. That's collisioning. That's uh, everything else. probably going to be watching right now the uh, footage of our install mods. Uh, this is already assuming that you've done the installation step, but uh, if not, uh, at the end of the video, um, or at back at the beginning of the video, I don't know, you'll be able to link back to uh, the main page for selection. So thanks for watching, uh, Smile 34 watch the long ass tutorial wrapping up on Wednesday, two days after I started at 4.19am.